grade sevens, as you can see, I'm back with another literature lesson for you. So, we are looking at our Number the Stars chapter notes. So, you'll need to get a copy of this and a highlighter or a pencil and a ruler. And we're going to be going through and highlighting all the important points. So, let's get ready. Number the Stars chapter 1. I'm only going to tell you what to highlight. You will need to read through these chapter notes on your own. So, we're going to be highlighting in point one under chapter one, Denmark, Copenhagen, World War II, 1943. Okay, so that's your entire setting. Once again, highlighted, reinforced. Right, point number two, highlight. Anne-Marie and Ellen, Kirsty, our characters. Point number three, stopped by a Nazi soldier. So that's chapter one, done and dusted. Now remember in chapter one, a very important um, event that happened. Anne-Marie and Ellen were stopped by a Nazi soldier. Okay, on to chapter two. Right, point number one under chapter two, we're going to highlight at the very end of the last sentence, Nazis invade Denmark in 1940. Okay? Point number two, Lisa. And point number three, Peter. So once again, you're getting a bit of backstory and our characters. On to chapter three. Right, point number one under chapter three. The shop is locked up. It's right at the end of the point. Um, and swastika on the door. Okay, the shop is locked up and swastika on the door. Now, in point number two under chapter three, you have a question which we will answer. The question is, what did he bring for Anne-Marie and Kirsty? Now, remember, Peter came with gifts and he brought them seashells. Right, point number three, we're highlighting again. Germans are forcing all Jews to close their shops. Rosens are also Jewish. Okay, this is what Anne-Marie learns. It is also how Anne-Marie is feeling. She's concerned about the Rosens because they're Jewish. On to chapter four. Right, chapter four, point one. The very end of the point, we're highlighting Ellen spending the night. Point number two. This one's got a lot of highlighting, so let's go. Under chapter four, point number two, we're going to highlight... Nazi soldiers, list of all the Jews, home addresses, names. Nazi soldiers plan to arrest all the Danish Jews. I'm going to go over that again. We're highlighting Nazi soldiers, list of all the Jews, home addresses, names. Nazi soldiers plan to arrest all the Jews. Okay, and on to point number three. We're highlighting Peter had helped Ellen's parents. And then at the very end of the point, Ellen pretend to be Lisa. Okay, on to chapter five. In the very first point, Nazi soldiers were at the door. It's in the middle, so you're just going to have to look for it. Nazi soldiers were at the door. And then in point number two, we're highlighting Ellen take off her necklace. And under that point, there's also a question. It says, why did Ellen have to take off her necklace? And that's because her necklace had a Jewish symbol on it. The Star of David. Okay, her necklace had a Jewish symbol symbol on it the star of david and obviously if they saw that necklace she they would know she was jewish and she would be arrested and so would the johansons for helping the jews okay right point number three under chapter five one of their daughters has dark hair okay this is where the soldiers are interrogating them one of their daughters has dark hair dark hair sorry and further down Baby pictures. Okay. And then on to chapter six. Point one under chapter six. Visit Henrik. It's in the middle of the point. Visit 
Henrik. Point number two, fishing and cigarettes. And point number three, special code. So here we are, we're on the phone to Uncle Hendrik and Mr. Johansson is using a code just in case anyone's listening. Right, there's nothing in chapter seven. Let's go on to chapter eight, point two. Great Aunt Bertie had died. Great Aunt Bertie had died, right? There's nothing in chapter nine. So at this point, Anne-Marie is quite confused because she doesn't think there's a great Aunt Bertie in her family and there's a funeral and she died, right? In chapter nine, we see people arriving and all of that and on to chapter 10. So chapter 10.2, casket was closed. Great Aunt Bertie died of typhus, right? And then in point number four under chapter 10, opened the casket, opened the casket. So we see the Nazi soldiers arrive, they interrogate them, they explain why the casket is closed and the Nazi soldiers leave, okay? And then they open the lid of the casket. Chapter 11, point one, we're highlighting jackets and blankets, jackets and blankets, because that's what's inside the casket. And then under point number four, Mr. Rosen and important package, okay? Mr. Rosen and important package. This is because he has handed an important package to give to Henrik when they arrive at the boat. And then the last point under chapter 11, we are highlighting boat to Sweden. Okay, Sweden, boat to Sweden. They will go on Uncle Hendrik's boat and off they will go to Sweden because Sweden is free of German rule. Right, on to chapter 12, almost there. There's nothing in chapter 12 to highlight. Chapter 13, point one, highlight, help her mother. Because we know at this point, Anne-Marie has been waiting for her mother to return, but she notices she's not back and she sees she's crawling home, so she goes to help her. Point number two under chapter 13, important package. That important package we were talking about earlier, they see it, okay? And then point number three under chapter 13, in a basket, and run to the boat. Okay, so Mrs. Johansson tells Anne-Marie, put the important package in a basket under some food and take it to Henrik. Go, go, go. Or everything they have done up until now would be for nothing. So what does Anne-Marie do? Off she goes. On to chapter 14, we can highlight four soldiers and two dogs. So as Anne-Marie is on her way to the boat, she encounters these soldiers and dogs. Chapter 15, point two. Tore the packet open to find a handkerchief. Highlight, tore the packet open to find a handkerchief. So we know Anne-Marie interacts with these soldiers and we know that she, um, they dig in her basket and she is just trying to act silly and pretend she knows nothing. And the truth is she really didn't know what was in the important package. So um, she felt a little more comfortable and was being honest by saying she didn't know. So they tore the packet open and they found a handkerchief and they were quite disappointed. And so she went on her way. She picked it up and went on her way. Right, chapter 16, right near the end. Point two under chapter 16. Listening ears, we've got a lot here. Okay. Soldiers using dogs to sniff out the hidden Jews. A special drug attracts dogs, runes, sense of smell. Okay, we're highlighting these things. Soldiers using dogs to sniff out the hidden Jews. A special drug attracts dogs, runes, sense of smell. Okay, and then in point number three under chapter 16, we're highlighting Rosens ashore in Sweden. Right, so what we see in chapter 16 is the truth about what the handkerchief was. And we know that the soldiers were using the dogs to sniff out the Jews who were hidden on the boats. So what Peter did is he approached some scientists and they helped him to create a special drug that they put on the handkerchief. They laced the handkerchief with a special drug that attracts the dogs because it smells kind of like meat as we heard earlier, as you would have read earlier. But when the dogs sniff it, it ruins their sense of smell. 
that's very important because it's helping them to um, mask the smell of the hidden Jews. The dogs will be attracted to the handkerchief instead of the people who are hidden on the boat. Right, and then Uncle Hendrik tells Anne-Marie that the Rosens are safe because he saw them ashore on, at Sweden. Okay, chapter 17, very last chapter. Let's highlight, war ended 1945. Point two, Peter executed. So we all know that Peter was a part of the resistance party and he was executed for going against the Nazis' rules. Point number three, truth about Lisa's death. Resistance. Okay, remember she was a part of the resistance party. Secret meeting. Raided. Lisa spotted from a military vehicle and run down. Right, so this is what we're highlighting, Lisa's death. A uh, truth about Lisa's death, sorry. Resistance, secret meeting, raided. Lisa, spotted from a military vehicle and run down. Right, which was very sad because it was two weeks before her wedding. And then the very last point, we're highlighting fix the necklace, wear until she could return it to Ellen. Okay, and so we see um, Anne-Marie is now two years older. The war has ended. She's learned the truth about how her sister had died. And she's asked her father to fix the necklace, um, to fix Ellen's necklace. And she'll wear it until she can return it to Ellen. Right. So, I need you to make sure you've highlighted all of that. And to ensure that you have read through these notes. They're very important because they point out all the important events in each chapter and all the important things that we need to remember for each chapter. They also um, help us to understand the timeline of the novel. Right, that is all from me. I will see you in your next video lesson. Bye!